Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Loop Hero on Steam with me, Jelnon, at Lunar Nebula Gaming. Nothing new to build at the moment. We have Act 2, the Rogue class. I think, you know what, we could go back to Act 1, see how the Rogue does against the Lich over here. Hmm. I don't think we have anything really new here we want. Right. Right. We can get rid of the spider cocoons. Take a vampire mansion. Yeah. Let's try that. Hmm. The only question is act two or act one? Yeah, we'll try act one just to kind of farm a bit. And then we can find a trait that will help us get more stuff. We can't use the shield as the rogue. We have two weapons instead and some other stuff. Like boots, which are just pure evasion. Hmm. Best place for a mountain range. Probably down here. Probably. Or we make it here and then there's a big spot right over there. Eh, I think we do that. Yeah. Continue. Go forth, my looping hero. Use double attack. There we go. All right. X marks the spot eventually. We just need more stuff to spawn. I mean, that was one nice thing about the spiders, is you have a ton of things you can beat up. Hmm. Oh, good. We got pretty lucky with slime spawning. Okay, then. More. Once we get back to town, we will be able to find some more stuff to put out onto our inventory. So, cemetery. I do want you to spawn sooner rather than later. Hmm. You know, this might be a good place. Yeah, that'll prevent too much of the road from getting too many things at once. And then we get a resource immediately. Good. I do kind of want a vampire mansion here. This is probably crazy. But I want the vampire to give me good stuff. Give me good stuff, man. Thank you. Please. I can have more than a meadow? No. Fine. Hmm. So if I put this here, we will get more rocks over here. Eventually. Yeah. Yeah, I think we can do this. I can put a vampire mansion here. That seems fine. Another rock there. We'll save that meadow. Pull the future. Here we go. More stuff. Max HP and evasion bonus. Evasion and crit chance. That seems pretty good. Hmm. Four to six. Four to six. Seven to eleven. Well, that's just better. Anything better than my sword? Probably not. I mean, that is technically better. Yeah, okay. Since we only equip every now and then. Yeah, this seems good. This seems good. Okay. We continue. Let's smack. There we go. Much better hits. Still not quite one-shotting, though. We have to get the crit for that to happen. Okay, more rocks. Okay, then. Continue, my warrior. I guess my rogue, not my warrior. Um, okay, the rooster crows. Thankfully, it doesn't do so three times. All right. I think I put this here so I don't forget. Hmm, I could put this over here. Sure. I'll just go ahead and place it. It's a little more HP per day as well, which isn't the worst thing in the world to have. Alright. Hmm. Go ahead and do that. Okay, here's our skeleton with the vampire friend. I am hoping my evasiveness makes this an easy fight, but eh, taking a lot of damage. Hmm. Less than enthused, am I? Let's go ahead. 
put another cemetery over here. Yeah, yeah. Because we can put a vampire mansion right there. That only affects two spaces. Even though I was a little crazy with this one. Especially since it's right before the end of the loop, before we face the witch, which, yeah. Not my brightest moment. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. What do I want you to do? Bobado. Get that, get the gargoyle out. Well, we can get a village. I think that actually makes it into Ransacked Village, yep. Okay. More rocks. We will enter talks with the slimes. Yep, we're still good. Oh, we did get a couple of vampiric things. I think we're actually pretty happy with what we got, though. Evasion bonus on the rogue is very important for staying alive for our current plan. Uh, goblin camp, just go away. I don't like you. You're not here to stay. That. Okay. Hmm, new stuff. Uh, technically more evasion. 9% seems to be the best at the moment. Level 4 axe seems to be my best normal weapon. Okay. We do that. 12 to 18. 12 to 18 is my best normal thing. Uh, attack speed, though, might be important enough. Hmm. Nah. This is like double the damage on the low rolls. is more evasion. Gives us damage to all. It's not terrible. I think we take it. Um, yeah. I think we're happy with all that. I think I keep my current evasion bonus. We currently have 19% chance to evade. Even though I could get more just max HP. We'll save that in case we need more HP. It does increase your current HP. you like over here? Does this change this at all? Not really. Okay, but we're trying this out. It's just a different meta game. Here we go, one shot. Nice. Hmm. Okay, so we're planning to build mountains up this way. So let's maybe put a treasury where we can put meadows all around it. We'll put it over here. Didn't want to worry about putting another vampire mansion right, right there. More blooming meadows will help us every day. And three more HP each. Alright, and we can finish our mountain. The harpy will appear. But once again, we are in Act 1, so monsters aren't as powerful. They don't have the one or two abilities. So we're technically better off. Alright, and I want to get through this ransacked village early, so it will upgrade and become a useful city. And for that, I may actually want to oblivion the vampire mansion here. Now that we have this... Ooh, but yeah, we one-shot that skeleton. That's exactly what I'd like to see. Alright, ghouls. It does have vampirism right now. We're doing okay-ish. A bit better. Great, though. Hero gets 1 max HP for each trophy he gets since this trait is taken. Plus 3 HP heal for each kill is kind of minimal. It was sort of helpful, but not really last time. Uh, healing for each non road tile around it. Huh. I think we want to get more max HP for every trophy. The earlier we take that, the better. And we're getting more trophies as this fight progresses. So... Yeah. Good battlefield. Hmm. Let's put this over here somewhere. Probably over here. And then we can rock on. Over here? Hmm. Just thinking, I think I want mountains mostly around this thing. But you know what? We take what we can get. We take what we can get put that there since that is technically probably the worst place for a rock mountain mountain rock anyway moving forward okay more of these guys spawn Ooh, damage to all encounter 
Huh, that is more HP. More evasion seems like a no-brainer. Counter chance. 15% hmm. evasion is my highest amount. We take that. Hmm, 346. 438 HP. So if we can't have the evasion, we definitely go for more max HP. Okay. Uh, this is better, correct? Yes, it is better than my level 3 sword. Okay, then. Continue. Give me a trophy. Please. Please mimic. Okay. So that happened. We're not quite at full health. Unfortunate. Okay, we don't have any Oblivion cards, so... The next time a goblin camp shows up in this looping hero's loop hero road, we're probably going to have some problems. If I keep placing mountains, basically. Ooh, we got another trouble. Hmm. Well, onward we go. Okay. Then we have another road lantern. Good. Okay, I definitely want one over here, I think. Plus, that'll make it harder for the witch's palace to show up over here. So that's good. That there. I guess this right here. Yeah. Trying to make better spots for placing the mountains down, basically. Ah, oh, I did one shot. Kind of at the right place, but also kind of not. Okay, well, with Lich's Palace stuff. Hmm. I want to make sure we can still place down what we need to block Lich's Palace stuff if I can't get enough Oblivion cards. If we get the trait where Oblivion things with a full hand of Oblivion cards happens, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. That saved us the first time around. I don't know if we'll get strong enough as the Rogue. Since we haven't unlocked as much for the Rogue as the Warrior, really? I mean, I guess it's just a shield. A level 1 shield, but, you know, those things add up. Taking some damage, which makes sense. We have a lot less evasion right now. Hmm. Okay, hero. Yeah. Good thing we have a little bit of vampirism. Uh, we feel this doesn't matter right now. Okay, two harpies. These might be a little difficult to deal with. Well, you know, just two hits. Do that. Okay. If we can't get more evasion, I think we're going to have even more problems, basically. Do that. Another village. Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this, which was dumb because Bandit Camp just showed up, but oh well that. Oh, there's a scarecrow. It is frightening. Okay. Huh. We have a level 4 Qatar. Attack speed, crit damage chance. I think we take that over to this, actually. Evasion. 14% and 2 defense. Hmm. I think we keep our current boots. Okay, another meadow we can save for the future. All right. This is painful. Will I survive it is the real question when I have no potions. Well, good thing I placed that road lantern earlier. We will probably need another. Barely faster at attacking. A uh, battlefield. I can place one over here. Seems decent. Hmm. I know if I place this here, that's a thing, but I'd rather place it over there, which won't happen. Okay, well, we get a blooming meadow out of it. Oh, uh, I might die here. Okay. Well, I was thinking we could do better, but oh well. Hmm. So probably the scarecrows aren't worth it for the rogue. Or I need better evasion or something. Hmm. 
or we just keep trying again. In the meantime, let's figure out, can I build anything new that I want? No. All right. So then, hmm. let's go to act two with the warrior. See how that goes. Now let's get rid of the cemetery, since we don't have the same level of evasion. Hmm. Spider cocoon should be fine. I don't think we care about the grove, but the or the the swamp. I don't think we care about the swamp, but we do like the grove. Kind of still like all this stuff at the moment. Okay, we shall continue. Forward! Warrior 2 loop 2. Act 2 loop 2. Electric boobity. At the zoo. Woohoo. Alright. We're doing okay. I'm getting a ring. I guess the slimes have wedding ceremonies, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, they certainly didn't kill somebody for that ring, right? I... Slimes wouldn't do that. I think I want a grove here-ish, actually. Is that a better sword? No. no. Okay. Now we get the resource. We'll have a rat wolf spawn shortly. Okay, where is a good mountain zone? Uh, we don't really have better than a four in terms of length or width. So... Either way, we're not going to get the full mountain experience, basically. Uh, this four goes all the way up, this four goes all the way up. Okay, so, not a big deal. We just want to surround the mountain as best we can. Maybe it's best here-ish. Right? Hmm. Okay, well, we'll try that. The rock in a very harsh place. The void itself. Hmm. Is that all we can get in an early village? Okay, we don't have the lich. We have like the what is it? The prophetess or the huntsman or something? Hmm. So I think is this a good place for the village? Probably. That's probably fine. But the sooner we can afford to do the ransacked village, if we want to do that, the better it becomes later. I don't know if we actually have, like, the resources to deal with that, though. That deals with three tiles, three tiles, four tiles, technically. I think we go here with that road lantern. Onward! And upward. There, there's a wheat field, it's a new day, a new dawn, a new me. Here we go. We're not the rogue, we can just keep trucking along. Okay. Hmm, we can move that here. That's probably good. We could also put this over here. That will help us at the end of our runs. Especially when scarecrows can be spawned over there. And if we put a vampire mansion, then, you know, problems could happen. They could. We hope they won't, but they could. Alright then. Will I or won't I? I think if I don't get a vampire mansion in this loop, I probably just won't try that. Ooh, evasion though. Is that better than defense? Probably not better than defense with the warrior at the moment. Not unless we could build more with that. Oh, this is just better, though. Okay. It feels like enchanted weapons get better with the axe. Ah, I'm bleeding. How rude. Okay. Ooh, vampirism. Yeah, we take that. Okay. Get some health back. Thank you very much. Okay. Ooh, a field. There's a new ring. Hmm. And it doesn't have vampirism, so I'm not that interested, I think. Same shield. 
little bit more max HP, but I'm not that worried about it. Go to deep. Hmm, nothing new, okay. Unbelievable gear. Yeah, I need a better weapon. This is queer. Hmm. I'll put this over here. More max HP, yeah, I think we take that now. Worst vampirism ring, we're fine. We take what we've got. Okay, spider. Let's see your mini legs. I'm not gonna lie, they kinda freak me out. Hmm. Could switch for raw damage. Raw damage, save me. Yay, you saved me. Okay, still have a little bit of vampirism, so that's good. This better shield, it is. Okay. I think I put the better shield on. Man. This guy did quite a bit of damage. I don't like it. Alright, continue. Mm -hmm. We are looping ever so slowly thanks to these rat wolves. Maybe we don't want the grove. I just. I want the wood, basically. Ooh, that's a good shield. And more max HP. Done. Okay. If we can find a decent weapon in the future, feels like we're building up pretty well for survival. I like surviving. Uh, let's put another one right there. Perfect. Okay, Scarecrow. You ain't the boss of me, but you are doing quite a bit of damage. Hmm. Maybe you are the boss of me. It does feel like they attack fast enough that probably not worth having that on the road as much. Hmm. I was thinking they were slower at attacking. I don't know why. I guess because they swing a scythe around, and that feels like it should be slower. That is more damage. Yep, we just straight up take that. Straight up. It is a better upgrade. Okay. Oh, we're good. Meadows? No, we're going to ignore those. And now we have a quest. Hmm. But our defense will keep getting lower the longer we're in battle with this guy. Which isn't great, which is why vampirism is super nice. Plus there was only one of him. Okay. Continue, my warrior. A little more consistent than the rogue at the moment. Until we unlock more armor and stuff more slots for items. Looks like they can evade the damage to all. That's interesting. Okay. I want to place another mountain. I don't want to get too far. Let's go ahead and do that. We might get a goblin camp soon, though. I should have been counting this whole time, but I really haven't been. Okay, another spider cocoon. That's actually good want more spiders to slap around. They don't exactly take slaps very well. Excellent. Okay. Max HP would go down. No, we, we keep vampirism over attack speed at the moment. It'd be nice to have both, though. Not lying. Not, not going to lie. It would be nice to have both. Put you over here. I want my wondrous mountain. It will be a piece of art upon the map. Eventually. But this foreboding music makes me beg to differ, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Could just put this right there, but that feels a little odd. Eh, yeah, we'll do it. Why not? Might be useful later. Plus we get more wood resources out of it. Hello, Scarecrow. Are you scared to see me instead of a crow? I wonder. Eh, it probably doesn't feel emotions. Oh, so we get counter and vampirism out of this, but we lose 70 HP. This is less vampirism, but we get attack speed, counter. Huh. I am very tempted by this, so I'm actually going to do this. 
think it'll be worth it. Because we've got the village healing us a little bit here, and then we will also get more healing shortly. Aha, uh -huh, supplies. Uh, that's not bad if you're worried you're going to die. Resource cap is increased. Let's get resource cap increased, because we're mostly here for resources at the moment. It would be nice if we could beat the boss, but I don't think we actually have enough stuff. Not enough oomph, really. Alright. May the oomph continue to grow, though. Hmm. But not enough at the moment. We are doing fine on health, thanks to vampirism. We have 33%, which is nothing to shake a stick at. Unless... Is the stick of acceptance. Okay, nope, there's a mountain right there. I don't accept it. Ah, uh, we do that. Hmm. Here we go. I ain't no wizard. I can't wave a wand and just make that disappear. So I'm gonna play a card instead and make that disappear. Wizards don't do that, right? High school students do. Yu-Gi-Oh, right? right? It's a shadow game. Oh. Uh, more vampirism, purely decent. Uh, it's just more defense, which is good, but we've lost vampirism. Some of it. Yeah, we're good. Continue. As long as we stay mostly well enough that the villages can heal us and stuff, we're doing all right. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad I didn't bring the cemeteries with our warrior. I think that would have been a problem. Wait, the rapier? This is more damage. A little bit less vampirism, but more damage. We'll take it. Oh, I see you, rocks. Oops. I didn't see you earlier, though, did I? <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well now, this is finished. So that's a thing. I want to fill it all out with rocks. And then we'll try to save these areas for, like, the treasuries. Hopefully that'll work well. Hmm. We don't have river cards or anything like that yet. That's just pure damage. That's a lot of HP. We'd lose 8%, no, 10% vampirism. I think that's worth it, weirdly enough. Because we already have other sources of vampirism. If we didn't, wouldn't be. We still attack pretty slowly, though. Aha, treasury. Now we can do cool stuff. Okay, if I go here, I can't put a meadow over there. So let's start from the right side, basically. Figure it out from there. Alright. Do that much. Uh, and I could put mountains and stuff there, but nah. Meadows are fine. Uh, if I can place it, there we go. All right. Thank you. Oh, there we are. Okay. So far, so well. Oh, wait now. Excellent. It doesn't have any friends to enrage off of. It is healing, though, as it continues to fight. That's more max HP and regen for a second. Well, okay, then. That's a no-brainer at the moment. Got our counter to kind of help us go a little faster through that. A little more vampirism, a little less counter. Eh, just kind of strictly worse at the moment. Okay, we got a new quest. We still have our potions, too. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's not better. Alright. Get through here, heal fully, and continue. Okay, well, you... wow. Your vision chance is like 10%, right? Huh. I guess we don't see it on here? Okay. Well... Hmm. I think I will place this here. It may not be great to have the vampire helping these rat wolves, actually. Could be a mistake. Because we are taking a ton of damage here from the bleeding effect. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. So if I get another free Oblivion card, I think I will get rid of that. Uh, not good enough. Okay. 
Oh man, we took a ton of damage here. Yep. No, Krat Wolves are our true nemeses, that's for sure. Okay. Road Lantern. Where do I need you the most? With the Rat Wolves, I suppose? Yes. I kind of want it near here, actually, because that might also block a future thing that the boss puts down. But I can't quite remember. Uh, more Rat Wolves equal more problems for us at the moment. I'm not super enthralled about that, so we will wait. Let's see. If I can just gain health back, though, off of stuff like this singular slime, then it's not as bad as it looks, right? Uh, I'm not quite getting health now. Okay. Hmm. Treasury, though. I'm gonna take that. I will also take uh, this. It's probably the worst place right here. Okay. Hmm. We don't have another village yet. I would like one. Hmm. Okay, more meadows, wheat fields. Let's go here. Here. Not worry about finishing off the gargoyle stuff yet since we are struggling a bit. Once again, I think oblivioning that rat wolf vampire mansion combo is probably what we're going to do. Let's put that there for now. There. Okay. Do I want a vampire mansion anywhere? Really? Hmm. Scarecrow, maybe? Maybe with one of the scarecrows. Still kind of frightening, to be honest. Hmm. Now that it seems like we are being outscaled by our foes. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. This looks bad. I'm not gonna lie. This looks very bad. I think we will have to retreat. Huh. Grove. Meadow, give me that stuff. Hmm. Invasion percent chance. We lose some max health. that vampire mansion. Not gonna get us through the rest of this. That gives us a little more HP. I think I'd rather get more resources if I'm about to run away. Put you here. There's that bandit camp. That's actually fine. Let's see. Oh great. That could have been bad. that vampire mansion so that's a lot less of an issue this is starting to become a thing though hmm, I think we do this just to prevent this from killing us in the future oh, we can get another village though that's not too shabby really yeah well, we tried this let's see if this is an oh dear it's a rat wolf boss we might die here. We might die here. It's evading enough that we can't quite get our vampirism to work. The bleeding effect is rather severe. Uh, yeah, we're just kind of... Uh oh Here I was thinking. Oh my goodness, okay, well, we are done here. Uh, and we just now get a better weapon. Okay, well, retreat. Can I build something new with you? Hmm. No. What do I need more of? These stable metals. Huh. Preserve the rock. Shapeless mess. Hmm. Still need more wood as well. Okay. All right. Well, I am thinking that'll probably be it for this episode. But in the next episode, I think we try the rogue again. I'm 
was thinking for the robe, but the cemetery seems fine. Maybe the rat wolves would be better than the spider cocoons. Let me get rid of the wheat fields. Try that. That way we can still get the wood. Should be able to get some stuff from here that we don't normally get. Okay. Then we'll try, I think, Act 1 with the Rogue again next time. Thanks for watching, dear viewer. Leave a like if you enjoyed Loop Hero. Subscribe for more gaming videos. Comment below on whether or not you think we can use our evasiveness to counter the Lich. And I hope you have a great day, dear viewer.